सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक विद एन अदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फॉर गीक चैनल एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज एज यू नो प्रीवियसली वी क्रिएटेड अ वीडियो ऑन सेल्स फॉर इंस्पेक्टर प्लग इन लाइक मोर देन अयर अगो एंड वी गेट अ क्रेजी रिस्पॉन्स ओवर दैट वीडियो सो द रीजन वाई आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो बिकॉज नाउ वी हैव अनादर वर्जन ऑफ दिस सेल्स फॉर इंस्पेक्टर प्लग इन विच इज मोर एडवांस मोर यू आई फ्रेंडली एंड देर आर लॉड ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट विच आई कैन शो यू इन दिस टूटोरियल सो इट्स लाइक फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक वी आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल द न्यू सेल्स फॉर इंस्पेक्टर रिलोडेड वर्जन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ इट विल हेल्प अस टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्टिविटी इन आर डे टू डे जॉब so without any delay first of all what i am going to do i am going to remove my old salesforce inspector plugin so here you can see what i am going to do i am going to click on manage extension and then i will simply move to the bottom and simply remove the extension from there simply remove it and now what i am going to do i will simply type in the google salesforce inspector reloaded and it will uh, simply redirect me to the website that will help me to uh basically install the salesforce inspector reloaded version so now you can simply see like right now we have 9000 plus users day by day this number is going to be increased because salesforce inspector plugin is a must tool you should have in your salesforce org this will allow you to ease your work so now what i am going to do i am simply going to click on add to chrome and it will uh, say read and change your data on a number of websites so just you need to click on add extension So now it has been added into the Salesforce uh, Chrome extension, which you can see. Like there are uh, few extension in my Chrome browser. So what I am going to do, I will simply pin the Salesforce Inspector Reloaded plugin, and I will simply change the position as well. So right now you can see the first position which I have in my Salesforce Chrome extension is Salesforce Inspector plugin. That is the reloaded version, right? now what i will do i will simply move to my uh, org and refresh the page so let's say if i click on this you will see the new ui right earlier the ui is little different like salesforce inspector plugin or the div is like now narrow when you see this particular interface right you will see three tabs now object user and shortcut earlier we don't have the shortcut tab right so we are going to start from very basic first of all let me just open some record so let's say here i am going to open any opportunity just to let you know how we are going to use uh, this inspector plugin right and how it will help us so for example you are on a particular record and you have a specific layout over there but you want to see the data of any particular field which is not on to the layout right so for that what you need to do you just need to open the record and for this let's say if i open cloud padle direct deal right and now let's say in details i have a lot of fields available to my opportunity so what i will do in this case i will simply go to this arrow button which is available into the right hand side of my uh, browser and click on show all data once i click on show all data you will see all the fields that are that are available in my opportunity object will be available there and also you will see the values that we have like for example account id here is the value of that particular account this opportunity is associated with so this show all data is like really helpful for me uh, in my day to day job because i need to see a lot of data on many records again and again and it's very hectic to like write a socal query and check it out so it's like you just click on that particular record show all data and that's how you can just see the value what we have into the field now the other feature that we are going to talk about if i like move back so if you are a beginner and want to learn salesforce flows then i created a course for absolute beginners who want to learn salesforce flow from scratch this course contain more than 80 plus tutorials and 40 plus hours of content so if you are interested to learn flows make sure you check out the course link is given below into the description of this video and if i again open this like this is the there is a user tab right if i click on the user tab and let's say if i type here bruce when so if i click on bruce when you will see the user detail automatically appear over there so similar similarly if you allowed the permission in your salesforce org you can also log in as bruce when from this screen as well like earlier what you need to do first you need to navigate into quick find then user then click on 
try login as right but you can do the same by just clicking on the user search whatever the user you have let's say Tony Stark so if I click on Tony Stark that's how you can see now I can log in as Tony Stark as well and you can also see there is a detail so if you click on this detail uh, button you will simply navigate to, to this particular user where you can see all the details about this user right so see that's how Tony Stark page is available into our org we don't need to like uh, do that many click that we required in order to see the user also there are two more uh, buttons that are added if I let's say open my uh, another user let's say Tony Stark again and click on it you will see there are two more buttons called permission set and permission set G so these are like uh, it will uh, basically navigate you to the particular permission sets that this particular user uh, enrolled in and similarly for the permission set group so I hope this will help you to move further or move faster to these permission set and permission set group uh, in order to navigate to those particular pages so now let's talk about this shortcut button so in this shortcut button if you read the placeholder right it says quick find links slash shortcut right so for example let's say if I have a flow available in my org let's say delete so you can see both the flows are available into my Salesforce uh, shortcut tab right so let's say if I click on delete closed op button flow right so this will open this particular flow in my Salesforce org otherwise I need to move into uh, flow in quick find then I need to open this particular flow but I simply by typing the name I will able to open the flow so that's how it is like really quick it will help you to save your time and that's how you can like open your certain flow if you know the name of those flows right so now let's talk about the another feature that called ex data export so this is one of the best feature that I like about Salesforce inspector if I open this particular data export right here you will see it says select ID from account so let's say if I want to provide more fields and I don't know about the API name what I will do I will simply uh, add a comma and type here let's say account number so you can see the suggestions of the fields that are available in, inside the like below the account field suggestion right so you can simply select it and you will see API name will be automatically available over there or let's say I want to add more fields let's say industry so you can see Indian business industry are available because these are kind of similar names that we provided into our query right and if I select industry you can see it is automatically changed over there so that's how you can create queries in your Salesforce org as well so let's say instead of this I want to do the same for a custom object so let me just try let's say first of all what I will do I will simply type select ID and the custom object uh, that we have let's say email so you can say email list is the custom object so let's say if I click on uh, run export and in, uh, apart from this ID if I add let's say name so you can see name is available and if I simply select over, over it it will allow me so let's say if I also search for a uh, description so it will I will simply click on to the description and it will uh, provide the value of the field over there so you can build uh, queries very quickly in this particular extension like if you try uh, building a query in uh, developer console or let's say somewhere else but it's not that much fast but you can do the same thing here very quickly now if I let's say click on run export so here are the uh, records that we have so earlier what uh, issue we have is let's say when we click on this ID right you will not see the copy ID uh, button like right now if I want to copy this ID you need to simply click on copy ID but earlier what we need to do we need to copy it like selecting the text so it is like very not that much user friendly so now uh, the third option we have uh, available that is copy text and this is also really helpful apart from that let's say if I open this and click on view in Salesforce right it will it will open this particular link in a new tab earlier it is opened into the same tab so let's say if I click on this particular ID it will simply redirect me to the uh, this particular link but on to the same tab so again when I need to do the same thing for another record I need to select uh, like move back and then do the same thing so now it is available into the next tab so that will help you to go through the previous record very easily let's say if I want to open another record 
and if I, I will simply click on the last one and click on view in Salesforce. So see, it will open the record into the new tab instead of the same tab. So this is also very user friendly and very helpful. It will also save a lot of time of yours. Now after this, you have a lot of options. So you, if you want to uh, know the email list field info, you just need to click on this particular uh, tab and you will get to know about all the fields that you that are available onto this particular object. So let's say if I open this uh, data export again, we have like uh, export query button as well. So uh, it will simply copy the URL of query. So if you simply paste it out somewhere, it will open the same page again. And there is one more thing that will help you to save more time of yours. So for example, there is some query which you use uh, daily in order to get the data. So what you can do, you can also save your query. So for example, this is the query that I want to save. What you need to do, you need to just click on save query, like provide the uh, label of the query, let's say email list and click on this save query button. So now if you open this uh, saved query, right? So this will provide you like email list and this is the ID. So earlier I click on this uh, save uh, query button. So this will simply save the query without providing any label. But if you also want to provide the label over there, you can do the same with the help of this particular email list button. And if you want to see the query history, that's how you can see the query history over there. So these are the helpful features that you will get into this particular Salesforce Inspector Reloaded plugin. Like these options are also available into the previous uh, plugin, but now more improved. Now also there are few features like if you want to copy the same uh, records into a Excel format, you just need to click on this copy Excel format, similarly CSV and similarly JSON. So I hope uh, this will help you to boost your productivity at a further level. So let's say if I open any record further and here you can see data import and org limit. So if I click on the data import, you can also import the data from with the help of this Salesforce inspector plugin. I will provide the uh, like limitations of the data import from this plugin right into the description box of this video. So make sure you check it out. I will not going to do the let's export <laughs> uh, in this video because it's going to be a big video then. The main purpose is to let you know the features so that you can also use in your day to day job. So if I move back again and then let's say I will open the same inspector plugin, you will see org limits. If I click on this org limits, you will see all the or limits that you have in your org, like how, what is the usage, for example, file storage, it's like 60% is used and monthly platform event usage entitlements. So like it's like 100%. So that's how you can see what is the limit so similarly if you let's say send email from your developer orgs right so here you will also get like what is the limit of the single email so uh, you can see 15 is the limit over there so that's how and that's much powerful this salesforce inspector plugin is and now it is more improved so i will suggest use the new one which is salesforce inspector reloaded plugin and let me know if you have any issue or uh, any info you want to know more about this particular plugin right i will create another video for that and thank you so much if you're watching this video till now i hope you will learn a lot of new things from this particular video thank you so much